used a guy for like dinner yeah. just for him to pay. That is wild. Oh, that's oh, crazy. God. That is well, insane. let me clarify what happened. I was <laughs> poor and hungry. <laughs> I'm literally not joking. I was f***ing broke. I ran out of meal swipes at school. Stop acting scared to talk to these females because you feel like you ain't they type. They ass is broke. They are exactly your type. Some women like to use dating as an excuse to get free meal, but it doesn't work with a smart guy. And this is the case of a man who left the restaurants once he realized his date saved his number as a food man. Now she will have to pay the full bill. She learned her lesson. gonna lie but she deserved it ain't even got the decency to have their names in her phone this is how monsters are created exactly what I've been saying for years I was the fool provider it ain't funny she gonna call money man back and he gonna pay know what role you play in her life why don't men ask us on dates anymore it happens more often than we think. A lot of women use dating as a source of free food, but I am glad guys are becoming aware of it and are no longer falling for this trick. Then they make a video complaining we are no longer taking them on dinner dates, but why would we spend our time and resources when we know some women use this opportunity to eat for free? They don't mind going out with guys they are not attracted to, as long as they can get a plate of food. Imagine having your name saved on a girl's phone as a food man. From that moment, you know what position you are occupying, and it's on you to decide what you want to do from this point. But I like his decision. That's the best thing to do if someone calls you food man. Now she was left with the whole bill, and she should use this opportunity to contact the money man and ask him to pay for it. But at the end of the day, she is the one winning this game, and I bet there are more guys' numbers saved in that list with their utility. Next, we have a woman who confirmed that on one occasion, she was broke and didn't have what to eat. So she decided to use a date for free food. Used a guy for like dinner yeah. just for him to pay. That is wild. Oh, that's oh, crazy. God. That I'm is fucking that. crazy. I would feel so bad. No, because like if I don't like the guy, I don't exactly. want to spend a date with him. Well, Same. let me clarify what happened. I was <laughs> poor and hungry. <laughs> I'm literally not joking. I was fucking broke. I ran out of meal swipes at school and I was like, okay, like, what am I going to do? And like, this was a guy that I had kind of already been talking to for like two weeks. So I was like, hey, I'm free for dinner tonight. You want to go out? Okay. You're an asshole. I'm going to just sit in my room and cry because I don't have dinner, you know? You know? You gotta, at that point, you got to use your resources. Yeah. You know what, though? Dude was doing a service, like an act of service when you think oh, about it. And that's why you're here right now. Like, you're alive. You're, you're doing God's work. You're God's plan. No, I went on more than one day with him he was feeding you he, he was a steady was god's plan you hear this he was a steady source of like supply for him were you only hitting him up when you were like starving no he ended up being a cool person does he know that he like paid for your meals or... no he doesn't well he knows now but he knows now <laughs> did you notice she thinks it's normal like there is nothing wrong with leading a stranger to give her a free meal she is even laughing about it i know for sure she wouldn't find it funny if the role were reversed they do things that will impact the dating scene negatively, then they are first to complain when they see the result of their actions. Who would blame men for avoiding dinner dates when we have videos like this circulating on the internet? But I am glad she was honest about it because we know other women wouldn't be this open when it comes to this subject, they would never admit it. She just confirmed that she only went on that date because her pockets were empty and she needed something to eat, but it's a shame as he had a genuine interest. Her lack of consideration is impressive because he thought he was going on a date with someone who was interested in getting to know him, not knowing the only interest she had was the food. This scenario is a clear indication that we need to pay attention to the people we go on dates with. We need to know their real intentions. Otherwise, we will be unnecessarily giving people free dinner. 
Sometimes emotion can take people to places where they do things they wouldn't have done if their minds were right, which is the case of a woman in the next video who decided to get revenge on her man. But what she did can make things worse. Let's check it. Too much effort to do all that when you can just leave. Don't even trip, I got money. Those would have been a nice gift for your next boyfriend. Crazy. He cares about shoes more than me. This won't make him change. Why would you do that? Wouldn't it be better to leave instead of destroying his belongings? So what happens if you decide to reconcile? Will she just say sorry? That's why it's important to have self-control as it will prevent us from doing things out of emotion, like the woman in the video. She just wants revenge and she decided to take it on his shoes, which has nothing to do with their issue. Depending on the guy, her actions can unnecessarily lead to further problems that wouldn't have taken place if she was able to control herself. Destroying someone else's property as a way to get to them is never the answer and in most cases, it makes things worse. What is she expecting him to do after finding out she destroyed his shoes? If they still had a small chance of getting back together, it just vanished, and it was all due to her lack of self-control. Next, we have a woman who disqualified a guy because he is a truck driver. She believes his profession is boring. What do you guys do for work? Tony, I'm 28, and I'm in transportation. I drive trucks. Okay, let's start over here. Why do we end up hopping Tony's? That was kind of boring. It was nothing like more. Wait, what was like, I just drive trucks. I mean, you ask what I do, that's what I do. What they do currently is okay because they're bosses. I like them. It was interesting when she called his profession boring. Is she looking for a man with an exciting job? What exactly does boring job mean? They don't even know what they want anymore. Boss stature? Not saying okay, like you're so not you, a boss. You, like, you, I like to somebody who calls the shots. You no. go with him. I like somebody who can lead me because I call shots. I mean, somebody who can call my shots as well. Don't talk to a man because his job is boring. <laughs> okay. And she says she wants a boss. All right. I'm not mad at your preference. But the question is, does a boss want you? Does a boss want you, though? Does a boss want you? Does a boss want you, though? If she thinks you are boring, you are doing the right thing. Bro, some women fail to realize how many options men with real money have. The audacity she has. Does a boss want you? Her answer would be yes, and I would just say then why are you here then? Why are the bosses not lining up for you? Just wondering. She clearly doesn't know what goes into transportation services. A boss doesn't want her. That's why she is on this show being choosy, not knowing that truck drivers actually make a lot of money. Instead of being clear about the reason why she didn't like what he does, she decided to call it boring. She should have told him she didn't like his job because she believed he doesn't make much, and this is where a lot of people get it wrong. They think truck drivers don't make much, not knowing in some cases, they make a lot more than those in the office or even those who are business owners. This superficial mindset prevents them from seeing the reality of each profession because she just assumed he doesn't make much without having a proper assessment of his job. She said other guys are bosses and that is what she wants. In other words, as he is not a boss, he is automatically disqualified. Instead of concentrating on other qualities, which is a better indication the man she wants is going to be a good partner, she prefers to look at their earnings and use it as the main qualifier for her choice. And this is how they end up losing their opportunity with a good man. She still has to ask herself if the boss she wants would want her. This is the question she will have to find the answer to. This is the end of our video and I hope you like it. Check our video which is displayed on the screen. We have selected it for you. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out.